Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome and welcome to the frugal and fabulous family I'm so excited to have you all here today today I'm going to be talking how I save so much money on gift giving whether it be for a birthday um, or Christmas or any kind of event that just pops up and you don't know or have time to go shopping, the, what I do is I have a gift cabinet. That is where I stock up on items. Not so much stock up, but I do have a bit of things in there and I purchase them when they are on sale. And sometimes some of the items I have are things that were given to me or my daughter that we already have and we don't need or things that we just don't particularly need or want and the only thing you have to be careful is is that you don't give people the same gift that they give you which I have been very good at I just make a little note on each item so that I don't give it and there's nothing wrong with it because what is given to you is and if it doesn't make you happy and you know that it will make somebody else happy it's perfectly fine to give to somebody else and it's not being cheap it's not I don't think it's being ch cheap because what if it just sits in my house it's just gonna collect clutter and it's not going to be fulfilling its purpose and the purpose of a gift is to make somebody happy so anyway let's get started today my or tonight I should say my daughter has a birthday party to go to and we needed some something to give this little girl for her, I do believe her 11th birthday. And so we went shopping in the basement, is what my daughter always calls it. And let's just show you what we got her. So first of all, we got this little, we have this little jewelry box that we got from Cuba a while ago. It's very cute. And inside, we just, had this really we put in very nice it's like a pearl bracelet my daughter doesn't really wear jewelry because it kind of irritates her and then uh, uh we had a whole package of these lip, lip smackers so she picked out and uh i think it's a tangerine tiki tangerine flavor and then a really nice purple we had a whole package of these so we opened the package we gave her a nice purple, a nice pink, and a nice red. And all of that fits in there really, really nicely. Oops, maybe not so nicely. Anyways, the next thing we got her, actually, what we were going to do originally is just put them in here. So I think that's what we're going to do. And this was just a little basket from... Uh, some of my daughter's shopkins that we don't need anymore. And then the next thing are these really beautiful berets, berets. My daughter got them for her birthday a couple years ago. And they're brand new. They're far too small for the amount of hair that she has. Her hair is extremely thick. So we're going to add those in there as well. Maybe those will fit in here. Mm, nope, they don't fit in there either. The next items are these brand new uh, headbands. And then we got some other headbands that are sparkly. So that's going to go in there as well. So we got some hair stuff, some jewelry, and some nice nail polishes. And then the last thing we're going to add in there is this adult coloring book. And it's brand new. And she got this as well, but she already has a bunch of them, and they are still not full yet. So, I'm going to give her that, and my daughter wanted to give her this uh, nice lead mechanical pencil. So, that is everything that we're going to put in there. And then on top of that, we're going to use a re recycled bag party bag that we've received from somewhere 
and some recycled tissue and we're just going to wrap everything up and put it in here and then that will be her gift hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to leave a comment in the section below on how you save money on gifts let me know i love hearing other people's tips and how they save money hope you have a fabulous evening and i will see you next time bye